Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to do a plan with me in my Hobonichi Weeks. I am actually using a sticker kit this week from Raindrops and Paper Co. as you see there. And then I'm using some of the date dots or squares that came with my order and a few Hobonichi Week samples that she included in my order as well. I am doing a voiceover, as you can tell, but I haven't um, actually, you know, like, did a voiceover in a while, so I'm, I'm very, very rusty, as you can tell already. So I did put down the bottom washi, so they call it, basically stickers that fit the bottom area of the Hobonichi Weeks. This kit is a coffee-themed kit. If I could use a coffee themed kit every single week, I would. It's so yummy and it wakes me up and it's like this week is ready to go. It's as caffeinated as I am. So I love that this kit has the um, one strip date sticker instead of the seven stickers for each day of the week because that gets pretty tedious. And then I'm including the numbers. And you guys, I am just loving this Hobo Nichi Weeks. Um, the planner is so small, but you get that wonderful feeling of I completed my planner, I used it this week, I completed my task. Um, I only include like events or important tasks or even fun stuff. Um, that I want to remember in this planner. Really guys, I just gave myself an excuse to buy another planner and I'm having so much fun with this kit. So I didn't use um, all of the checklists all in a row, um, like Monday through Sunday, um, just because I just didn't feel it that week. Some days I do feel like using the checklist all in a row and some days I don't. And this kit came with a little decorative like element. It has like coffee cups and then it came with one um, box that you can use as an appointment label or something like that. Um, the boxes that I just put on there um, didn't come with the kit. It was an actual like sampler from the shop that I ordered this kit from. I said it right, Raindrops Paper Co. And then it also came with these itty bitty um, like little appointment labels as well that I'm going to put on later. So this is where I include the other checklists that I had and then um, I'm going to place them in places. I don't know. In places. I'm going to place them in places. <laughs> so I just think that the kit was, it was a small kit, really nice, simple, but I really dove I really love, not dove, I really love like white space planning because I love the the fill texture of the paper and and writing directly on the paper. I don't know. It's just, it's so much fun and it just brings so much joy to my paper planning life. These are the itty bitty um, little event stickers that I talked about earlier. I just included them in places. And then I'm going to do a little bit of planning. Um, I'm going to write stuff in, but I'm not going to do too, too much because I'm one of those people who like to set up the planner, set up the stickers at the beginning of the week. Um, and then as time progresses, I would write things down. Except for things that I really, really know that I, I want to accomplish or it's something that I have to accomplish, I would write those down ahead of time so some things I just plan as I go as I go like throughout the weeks and the days and stuff like that so the kit came with a few phrases like clean to do to go and I believe to buy and then I'm just placing it in places where I think I might use it during the week the kit also came with some icons it came with like uh, alarm clock it came with like a home sticker 
It came with two airplane icons, which is cool. I ended up using it in my monthly spread. But I think all of her kits come with the same icons. Um, later on, like for a different week, I pulled her kit again. And then I ended up with the same two airplane stickers. So I feel like um, there's no need for airplane stickers in weekly kits. Um, maybe specialty kits or maybe even a monthly kit. But if you were to buy weekly kits from her shop, shop every week I don't know who flies every week I mean maybe some people do um but I don't fly every single week to have the need for two um airplane stickers so as you can see here I'm using some of the icons that I placed in areas where I think I would need it and then I just noticed that there were these strips that fit the area um, at the top part of the planner. In another, in another spread, I end up using those strips as dividers in the grid, um, like the plain grid area. But in this one, I just used it at the top, and I think that's where it's supposed to go, I guess. I am using a black Le Pen pen. I think that the Le Pen pen is my favorite pen to use in this planner. Um, but I have used other pens before. This is just the fa my favorite. I did write Coffee Monday like I always do every single Monday in every single planner. I always write Coffee Monday. And then I have a few things like I have to go to a briefing. I have PT every single Wednesday. I have to prep my car to be shipped because it's going to be shipped off this week. And um, there's like certain rules that I have to follow. And I just filled in some, some things that I know that's going to happen. And that's pretty much it for this plan with me. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.